sending, transferring the raw file. Now, this picture just opened straight up. The first time I had opened this and the first time you open any photo from any new camera or lens combination that you've got, PhotoLab will pop up a little thing that says, hey, we don't have the profile for this camera and lens combination. Do you want to download it? You click yes and it downloads and that's all there's to it. Uh, point is that first time you use any new photo with shot with a new camera or lens, um, the software is going to have to download a little update. It's not an update, a profile. That profile is for lens correction, distortion, uh, lens uh, chromatic aberration corrections, all that sort of thing that's built into these profiles. So it's you want it. You, you know, you definitely always want to hit yes and go and get it. Uh, we might see, it depends. If I open up a random photo that I haven't opened before, we might see that dialog. Then again, we might not. Okay, so let's, uh, I'm just going to go straight into the U points because this is what I really want to show. Up here, you'll see up in the top, kind of center right on here. Why is my, oh, there it goes. It wasn't zooming for a moment there. You see it says local adjustments. That's where we want to click. So I click on local adjustments. And the first time again you do this, it's going to pop up a bunch of here's how to use this screens. I don't have that on here anymore, but that's okay. And at this point, um, it looks like a brush is selected. But what the guide will tell you, actually I think if I open, yeah, let's get these adjustments up. What the guide will tell you is that you right click or control click and you get this new fancy little screen that comes up, this new little control tool. And this allows you to pick what tool you want to work with. There's, well, reset, new mask, but more importantly, there's brush, graduated filter, and control point. And then what are these? Auto masking and erasing. And then again, new mask. So this point, what we want is control point. That's the power of this thing. So I have, I've selected control point. I haven't actually created one yet. I just go wherever I want to go and I click on it. So I'm going to adjust the, the sky. I click on that and it drops down this little circle along with all these wonderful controls that come up here. So from here, I can do things, if, as I roll over the mouse, you'll see the um, little pop-up there telling me what they are. So that's exposure, contrast, micro contrast. So micro contrast, in case you're wondering, that's really fine detail. Uh, you can think of it like the, what's the tool in, in Lightroom? Um, anyway, it's localized mid-tone contrast. It brings out detail in everything. It looks fabulous for most things, not on skin. Uh, anyway, then we've got clear view, which is a, something exclusive to the DxO apps. You've got vibrancy, saturation, and then there's temperature, tint, sharpness, and blur. So you can actually add blur this way, which is really cool. And then there's a the little reset guy at the end here. So let me make this bigger to start. So you'll see I've, I've dropped it down on the sky there. I'm going to make this circle bigger because I wanted to correct a larger area. And from here, let's just take the exposure down. I want to take the exposure down on the sky. So you can see that it, the idea here is that it is affecting the sky and supposedly not affecting the areas around it that's not sky. Now, unfortunately, this part of the building does kind of get a little bit too close in value and tone, so it does start to get affected a little bit, but that's just fine because we have the ability to delete or protect areas. Notice down here, there's two different things. There's add a control point and there's protect an area. So if I click on that to protect an area, I'm still working within this mask. I'm not going to be adding a second mask. We'll do that later. But right now I'm working with this one mask and I'm going to, within that mask, protect an area that is getting affected that I don't want to be affected. So I'm gonna, in this case, click on the building here. Let's click on the building. And it is, it's made the circle the same size. It can make it a little bit smaller if it was a little bit over aggressive on there. And I might want to move this around a little bit to find just the right area to put it onto. Um, and then here's, this is a little bit of a thing that comes up is sometimes it's hard to click and grab. Ha, huh, excellent. Grab that control point. Let's move this out of the way. There's an issue that I've run into where, as far as I can tell, I don't know how to move this control area here, which means if something gets behind it, it can be kind of hard to get to it. It's version one of this tech. Um, anyway, so now as I make my adjustments, the you can see there how the building is being affected considerably less than it was before. So I could bring the sky down a little bit, bring that a little bit darker, and away we go. go okay, well, that's kind of cool. So the sky is looking pretty good there, but the foreground building is definitely still too bright, uh, too dark. It might be partially affected by this. doesn't matter. I'm going to brighten that up by creating a whole new mask. So down here, I can click on new mask, and effectively, we're starting over again. It's still on the minus. You can see the little cursor there. It's got the little minus guy on there. So I got to switch that out of protect back into add mode. And I'll go ahead and click on kind of the center area of this building here. Let's make this a little bit bigger so it's really affecting that part of the building. And bring up the brightness on that. And away we go. And now we're starting. You've just watched a five-minute sample of a live training video. 
To see the rest of it, head to photoapps.expert slash live where you can purchase and download it or sign up as a member. Members can stream any live training video as often as they like and have access to video tips and other exclusive member bonuses. To learn more about membership, head to photoapps.expert slash member.